Hi everyone, it's Sparkling Shark coming to do a um, project share. Well, basically some things I've been working on. Um, you know, I've uh, the, the Traverse Notebook craze and of course I've done a couple of them, several of them, different sides and everything. But when I was doing them, I did them to put them together, but I really didn't really interact with them like I should have, you know, and I've been seeing some amazing TNs on uh, YouTube. You, like I say, you all are so talented. So, um, I just wanted to come and show you the ones that I had put together this time. And I added some character, added, um, I'll say being creative my own way. So now that when I was doing it, I really got the feel of it and I see people how they're pouring in their feelings when they're doing the Travis notebook um it's just some amazing creators out here and I just, I just gotta give you guys a shout out and thanks so much again like I say for inspiring me to continue to craft um thank you because it, it has been times that I've lost my my feel for it and it took me a long time to get back with you know into making things but right now i'm here and i'm I'm about to stay so with um without anything else being said let me just show you the tens that i've been working on so this is one um i think it's rather pretty and of course i got the charm here from the dollar tree and i added just some little balls on the end of it um a gold paper clip and it say you are pure gold i forgot i'm sorry about the glare i forgot the name of this paper i think it's called paradise i got it from michael's last year sometime so i got so many um paper pads that i need to use up so this is a good way to to use them up and i'm just gonna do a quick a quick <coughs> flip through showing you all the ones i made and this is the inside it has a pocket um thanks to craft creations who showed how to do this one because it's really hard trying to find those target adhesive pockets it's real crazy and then i put some colored um copy paper in there all these are the same papers that come from that paper pad called paradise this, this is another one with the birds more paper this is a clip with you know something that you can write on so i really um was trying to get the feel of this one because it's prints everywhere it's all over the place uh do something kind today and then put a little ribbon there and i laminated this this was the um you call them the folders and then of course this is the paper from the little paper note notebook pad from Dollar Tree. Then I made a page marker. I do what I want. I really like that. And then oh, oh this might be too heavy for it, but anyway, I put the um you know tablet on the back. And then this one is another one. Now let me move this out the way. This here is one of those slide-ins. This comes from, I got my business card there. This here comes from one of those photo albums that you get at Dollar Tree. This here. And all I did was take these two pages out, pull it apart, and then I stuck it in a book using washi tape so that's another way that you can have like a little pocket you put washi tape on both ends and then you slide it through it works perfect guys I'll show you see here I just put washi tape on it to put it back together and then slide it back through there So that that's another way to have like a um, like a little photo album inside your Travers notebook. 
I just slid some papers in there. This is the backing. This is the back of it. And then another card that I put in there say, create your own sunshine, which is true. Okay, so that's that book. I really like how it turned out, even though it has a lot of designs. Oh, and then the pen I put in there with the pen, the pen, um, holder that I made with the tab punch, which there's a tutorial from Lip Love Scrap for that one. <clears throat> so that's that book. And my next one, um, I've been seeing this lady. I, this, this paper pad is really nice it's from michaels and i've been seeing everybody using this paper pad but this this lady right here very beautiful i love this i love her the way it looks the darkness of it and the the colors that's blend in and again i used another one of those dollar tree clips and then I added my own beads on the side to give it more a little more depth and we're gonna open this one up and take a look inside again the uh, folded you know the pockets here and then this is one of the notebooks I use colored copy paper this is another one with um, lined paper I covered one of the composition books from Dollar Tree. Here's another folder. And I put the word, hello you, be you, you are lovely. I put that on the front of it. I don't want to be out of frame here, sorry guys. And then this is the page marker. The giant paper clip, which I just added the flower on here. This is the pen loop with the matching pen. And on the back of it, stay stay strong, is it? Or stay, oh, stay golden, sorry. And it's another insert with um, the purple, like lavender color, copy paper. Mm -hmm. uh, business card. Here's another one. I just clipped this one with a gold paper clip. Yep. And then I put one of those books, uh, another one of those little books from Michael. Put washi tape here. And then this was uh, a monthly planner back here. I just covered it as well, covered it with that paper. Yeah, so that's that book. I love, love, love how these turned out. It's simply gorgeous. My next one is um, <laughs> the emojis. How dope is this? This is really cute. This paper is from Simple Stories. Yeah, I had it for a while. And I found some little emoji faces, that little balls that I put on the fastener. Here's the key ring, keychain, and I put a little bow here. And let's take the tour on the side of this one. I made uh, this is a laminated uh, note piece of notepad. Here's a bookmark. Another um, cutout. I might laminate this one. This is uh, a sticker that uh, patch that I bought at um, what's this store? Fabulo. And I had a lot of little stickers that went with it. These from the Emoji Movie. All these stickers. Little sunglasses. This is something else. Then it's saying, life is happy. 
and then look how this reflects if you can see it I don't know yeah see and then this is uh, some little stickers that I had I put on um, some cardstock um, what you call it craft cardstock this page say awesome so I just said put picture here it said picture me then this was another little notebook from the Dollar Tree I just stuck it in there, put some of those emoji uh, movie things there, line paper. This is another book um, cover. Stuck a Oh My God in there. Made a pocket on the front of it. More uh, emoji stickers on the papers. This is another insert. Say wow. And be a unicorn. Some yellow uh, wash um, copy paper. This is a uh, cut out fries before guys. I thought that was cute. Some paper clip emoji clips. They paper they uh, clothes pins. I'm sorry. And then on the back of this one, it say I love Wi-Fi. And then this one is uh, the poop emoji saying oh crap that stinks yeah this this one is really cute we go together like poop and tissue i really this book can't and they go another little clothes pin so yeah this is uh, a little sticker this is a page marker an actual um, it has a pocket and actually this part right here is a napkin I just cut it and laminated it I laminate the ink I mean uh, laminate the ink pen um, put the pen as emoji and then um, this is the back but you know what I and then this this is a little pocket here too and I'll tell you guys it's so funny because I miscut this book so what I did was I added more paper on it and I had to put the the page marker I put it in the back so you it, you really can't see see that it worked out so well because I was like oh my goodness I didn't cut it right so I just sat here and I thought and thought and I say, let me figure this out. So, yeah. So, it's really pretty, guys. Okay. And my next one is... <clears throat> Isn't she adorable? This is too cute. This is... Um, a grab bit. Uh, a Halloween grab kit that I got from Lyric Lover. She it was selling for me and I was able to get one. And it was full of, I mean, it was full to the rim with everything. And it was just $30. And all these little cuties was in it. This paper here is from a paper pad from last year called Boo uh, by Recollections. This was at Michael's. So I got a chance to use it. This little cat was in there. These things are, I don't know what you call it, but I bought them from the beauty supply. I think they go in your hair, but I said they would work pretty good on a traveler's notebook. All these goodies came in that pack I have. Look how thick it is. And so let's go inside. She's so cute. Look at her. And I love it because this book says toxic thoughts. So it's really cute. This is a headband from Dollar Tree. The purple. So we're going to take all this off. And look through here right quick. We got a lot of little cutouts. This was uh, one of the, this is a card that was in there. And I laminated um, Halloween. That was in my paper pad. Uh, this was the paper that was in there. This is a bag, some the tree bags you put in there. So I just cut that there to make it a pocket. This is the, you know, the, pocket letter things but I cut them to make it here so you know this you can put pictures and stuff here 
and I use some washi tape here. This is another one of those composition books at the Dollar Tree. And they say poison on the front. It's the lined paper. So I left it orange. And then I couldn't get the tag off the back, so I put another laminated uh, card back here that says toxic. This one I made with a lot of little stickers for Halloween. And uh, this is a eraser made into a paper clip. Another um, treat bag that says trick or treat. You can slide it from inside if you want to keep something there. More paper. Then this one here says spectacular. It's still part of the same book. I just added paper to give it, you know, you can put something else there. In here. And that's the back of that. This is the page marker. And it has a notepad. I mean, a note. Yeah, notepad on the back said toxic thoughts. And uh, the pen to match. Another folder with a lot of stuff in it. Bags. Um, some goodies. <sighs> this is uh, a student planner book. Uh, has uh, This is actually a card that was in the kit. I really like this. So I wanted to keep it made this out of like this here. A eraser. I hope you guys can see this. This is the eraser made out of paper clip. And then this, this is the student planner. What I like about the student planner, it comes, it starts at 2017, not like the monthly planner. And then I put a binder clip here to hold the other pen. Stuck uh, Happy Halloween in the back pocket of it. This is the paper pad here. Took one of the envelopes. Got a lot of goodies back here. This was a card that I bought at Dollar Tree. I just cut it out. Cut the card in half and I put some, it had eyes here, but I added the googly eyes on here. Put a notepad back here. And then this is another card that I cut off, cut in half and use it as a picture. And that's that. But guys, look. Okay, that's that one. This is the last one. This is the fall one. And another Dollar Tree chain, but my daughter had an owl neck, O-W-L, because I can't say owl, um, necklace that she didn't want anymore. She actually broke the necklace part, so I just took it and used it as a charm. And I used one of those things, you know, to connect it with. This was gifted to me by Sarah when uh, she sent some things to me. This is so cute. Um, I put a little owl here. And this paper pad is brand new from Michaels. This is the reason I bought this paper. I remember doing the haul and telling you guys about that. This is uh, the pocket on the inside. This is another one of the composition little books, lined papers from the Dollar Tree. I just uh, covered it. It was so easy to cover. Yeah. <clears throat> this is the back. Another business card. These are some cute little things I got from um, off of Etsy. Uh, they were stickers and I turned them into laminations. Another book that says uh, Pumpkin Spice and Everything Nice. These are some cutouts. This is actually one, one cutout and I cut it in half. More paper. Here's some more. Uh, so adorable. This is a folder. That I made and got some stickers in it. Another book from um, the Dollar Tree. This one has a tab, say favorite. This is so cute. Autumn Dreams and Fallen Leaves. I like how this paper, I made this paper. Uh, I coordinated it orange and white with that one. And this is the page marker. It's so adorable. With an orange pen. Has a notepad on the back. Another fill this fall <clears throat> with lots of love and laughter. I love this wood grain look of this one. And I also did the same thing. Added paper. Look at this. This is simply beautiful. And I put a sticker here to say check this out. So whatever you write down there. 
And this is a, a weekly planner that I stuck in here for now. And then these are what I have. But I have a trick to show you guys. Because if I, if, if I was thinking, if I kept both of these TNs, right? So right now I'm in the Halloween one, working. I'm doing stuff. So then I'm going to move to November's. Um, I'm going to move to November's. This is what I decided to do because you might not be lucky enough to keep finding those student calendars that's got 2017 in it. So what I did was, this is kind of crazy, and I went a little far-fetched with it, but when I thought about it, I, I did cut it down. So what I did was, I velcroed the back of it. I velcroed it. So I'm going to take it out of here. And I'm going to move it to. Let me take it out of here. I hope I'm still in frame. And I velcro the front and back. Uh -oh. I'm going to take this off of here. Uh, I got to glue this back down there. Okay. So this is the, the tooth for the Halloween. And I'm just, I want to use this for my... November book. So I made these with Velcro. And all I'm going to do is put the Velcro down. And add these into my November book. Velcro on the back. If you can see it, let me stick this back in here. And that way, like when you're changing your TNs, I'll take this one out since I, I just put this one in there just for, just to, till I find the other one. But yeah, if you run into that problem, and you, all we're doing is just switching, uh, uh, Let's go to October. Yeah. This week here. October 2017. I'm going to slide that in here. And there you have it. How cute is that? That way I could just switch it from like next month. If I switch this. I'm going to have a uh, Christmas. I mean, uh, for December, I have a Christmas one because this will be for November. And that way I won't have to worry about keep trying to find a calendar. So, yeah, guys, that's what I've been working on. I hope you like them. I'm going to put this back in here somewhere. I'll stick this in here. We'll stick these in here because they are part of the Halloween bunch. Put pins back on here. Sorry, I'm all out of frame, guys. Just trying to get this together. So I hope you like them. So that's what I've been working on. I thought they turned out adorable. And I get now when you're, when you're feeling, when you're putting these together and you're feeling pretty good about them. Because they are awesome. They look so pretty. I love them. I'm trying to get them all in the photo.
Yep, so I'll be coming to you soon with another tutorial. I think this is just so awesome to me. This is, oh, I love this. I love this. So thanks for watching, guys. I know it's a bit long and I sound a little drag, but I'm a little tired. But I really, really enjoyed this. And I hope you take um, the tip that I gave you as far as if you need to switch the calendar. Because I really think that that was so uh, smart how I did that. And it turned out so cute. And actually, too, I've got to tell you, these are... These owls are a piece of napkin that I fussy cut. Yeah, I fussy cut those too and laminated them. And that's the back of the calendar. And that was the front. And I just switched it over. So, um, thank you guys again for stopping by. Welcome to all my new subscribers. Thank you very much. And in, um, in the future, I will be doing a giveaway. I promise. It's just I'm trying to get everything ready for my craft fair, but... Oh, it's going to be awesome. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye now.